When a rufous comb-footed spider takes on a spitting spider, it's the mother of all battles. It has all the appearances of a routine night in the rainforest. A rufous comb-footed spider moves into a new neighborhood. The burden she carries is her egg sac, bulging with the next generation. Each of these egg sacs may have anywhere from 20 to 150 eggs. Deciding a dead leaf will make a good home and nursery, the mother-to-be leaves the sack dangling by a silk thread and starts building her new web. With her egg secure at the top of her new home, her killer instincts kick in again. A wandering termite is the first victim of her deadly silk combing skills. The comb-footed spider doesn't try to bite the prey until it's really securely wrapped up in the silk straitjacket. And then, once it's wrapped up, she'll come in for a bite. Then she'll hoist the prey up into her web, and there she can feed on it at her own leisure. As she settles down to dinner, marauding ants crash her housewarming feast. Fearing the ants will make a meal of her eggs, the combfoot's maternal instinct kicks in. She goes on the attack. Her needle-like fangs administer a venomous coup de grace. Her eggs are safe for now, but the night isn't over. Nearby, Another silk specialist is on the move. And far from welcoming the new kids on the block, she'll be spitting with rage. The spitting spider has venom glands to produce silk as well as venom. So the concoction this girl sprays out is both sticky and toxic. When this spider gets about a half inch from her prey, she'll then vibrate her fangs at 1,800 times a second while spraying out this venom-laden silk concoction, coating the prey in a zigzag pattern and pinning it to the ground. A black-tailed scorpion out for a takeaway meal is about to find out how deadly the silky spit can be. The scorpion grabs a leg. Its sting searches for a weak spot but it doesn't count on a sticky barrage. Traveling at around 70 miles per hour, the toxic silk hits the target and immediately contracts, gluing the scorpion to the tree. With that deadly stinger out of action, the spitting spider moves in for the kill. One bite, and the venom destroys the scorpion's nervous system. For a spider this small to bring down a scorpion really shows the power of the weapon that she's packing. This huge meal supplies energy for a new batch of spitting silk, and she will need it. When she finds out the rufous comb-footed spider has moved in next door. There'll be no love thy neighbor. This is a fight that's bound to end in bloodshed. I'm just not sure who's. Next, a spitting, weaving war of the web fighters. Then, lethal assassin go head to head.
A rufous, comb-footed spider settles into her new home. Her one thought is to protect her eggs. But a fully armed spitting spider is about to invade her nursery. The spitting spider fires off toxic silk. The rufous, comb-footed spider retaliates with silk wrapping. Whoever wins that battle finishes off their foe with venom. The invader tiptoes across the web. The rufous combfoot is fully aware she has company. She leapfrogs out of spitting range. Her attacker fires, but is off target. The combfoot heads for cover, leaving her eggs exposed. Even when her own safety is on the line, the Rufus comb-footed spiders guard their egg sacs and defend it. The spitting spider fires again. But with one leg guarding her precious eggs, the comb foot mounts a silk throwing counterattack. The spitting spider fires back. She keeps firing, but she's run out of silk. Rufus moves in and wraps her opponent in a silk shroud. Well, that sure didn't go according to plan. The spitting spider picked a fight with the wrong spider on the wrong day, and it's toast. No matter how formidable your weapon, if you run out of ammunition, you're finished. When two jumping spiders go head to head, it's a case of look before you leap. The steamy jungles of Central America are home to more than 5,000 species of jumping spider, each one more striking than the last. The yellow jumping spider might not be quite as colorful as some of her cousins, but she makes up for it with street smarts. They've got relatively simple brains, but they're clearly using these brains in really complicated ways to remember where things are and make quite complicated decisions about how to attack their prey. The huge comic book eyes are constantly peeled for prey they can see 40 body lengths away. And don't think for a second that you can sneak past unnoticed. She really does have eyes in the back of her head. A total of eight orbs ring the head, providing a wide-angled world view. The smaller eyes focus on movement, so they detect something moving in front of them. It's the big anterior median eyes that provide the crucial information for where and when to attack. Those extraordinary orbs sense color, contrast, even ultraviolet light. Just what you need when pinpointing prey and launching long-range attacks. Death comes swiftly. 
Fast-acting venom paralyzes the victim almost instantly. But what happens when she encounters an enemy who possesses the same skill? The tiger jumping spider has also earned her stripes as a pouncing predator. She's a polyphagous predator, which means she'll kill and eat pretty much any creature that she can. But some jumping spiders actually prefer spiders over insects, including spiders just like themselves. Squat and compact, the tiger has the perfect build for long distance leaping jumping up to 20 body lengths in a single bound on hydraulic legs. Now that's deadly accuracy, a direct hit. You could almost hear her making the calculations for the trajectory of that jump. And she took her time to make sure she got it right. Brava. But the kill might not be quite so easy when the tiger jumping spider runs into her yellow counterpart. You might as well just flip a coin or pick the spider you like the look of most. It's that close a call. They're similar in size and possess identical powers. Which one will get the jump on the other? Next, two lethal leapers face off. Then, a multi-clawed killer goes on the attack. And later, mortal combat in the treetops. forest leaf, two jungle gymnasts are about to meet in mortal combat. A yellow jumping spider is prowling for prey. Nearby, a tiger jumping spider will happily make a meal of her close relation. Both have incredible eyesight extraordinary jumping ability, and potent venom. Which one is the faster draw? The combatants eyeball each other. If spiders could break out in a nervous sweat, they would both be doing it about now, because they can both see and recognize the danger that they're both facing. The yellow jumping spider holds her ground. The tiger blinks first, backing off, but changes her mind. They attack and counterattack. It's a standoff. The tiger makes a strategic withdrawal. The yellow jumping spider is on full alert. But the tiger has a new vantage point. It's all about establishing the best angle of attack and getting in an accurate shot first. Like its feline namesake, the tiger pounces. injecting lethal venom. For these spiders, the old saying, look before you leap, really sums it all up. In this particular case, the tiger jumping spider had the best view and the best trajectory, and that proved to be the decisive advantage. Like any tiger in the wild, feeding isn't about dining etiquette. She vomits digestive enzymes into her victim 
and slurps up the liquidized flesh. Leaving the yellow jumping spider very deflated. So much for the sisterhood. When a spiny spider clashes with a crab spider, it's a case of now you see it, now you die. With her wicked spikes and splashy war paint, the spiny spider is one prickly customer. These spines are really effective. If you touch them, they're really hard and sharp. These are tough, strong little spiders. At her rear, enormous twin spikes, black-tipped and hardened, form a vicious V-shape. On her back, multiple spikes sprout like devil's horns. For a web dweller, they're the perfect defensive weapons or warding off aerial attackers. Imagine if you're a bird and you go in, you attack a spider, grab it, and the spines hit the roof of your mouth. This is an anti-predator defense against birds and other mammals with soft palates. The spiny spider is an orb weaver who stays at home to hunt in a circular web just a few feet off the ground. A trapped horsefly poses no problems for this predator, except maybe for some short-term dizziness. It's struggling very strongly, kicking and shaking and trying to get out of the whip. But the spider is a tough little devil, and what she does is she'll dart in, bite it, and start wrapping the prey up. Large chelicery and fangs don't just inject venom. They're serious weapons, able to crush and mangle. Not far from that scene of carnage, another assassin hides out in the open. The crab spider is a master of subterfuge. Her entire strategy is to be like wallpaper, to blend into the background. Mottled markings and a gnarled body make the crab spider all but invisible to other bugs. This well-disguised warmonger wastes no energy remaining motionless until the right moment. That's a classic crab spider ambush, just sitting motionless, not moving a muscle, until the prey is in range and then grabbing in the one and only movement. The crab spider and her spiky neighbor might never cross paths. But today, the spiny spider has decided to start demolishing her own web. At dawn, they start putting up their web, and at dusk, they'll take their web down. And this is largely to replace the glue. The unwanted web won't go to waste. She devours it, strand by silken strand. They eat the silk, digest it, and are able to recycle the proteins. 80% get recycled and reused in the next web. But until she builds a new web, she's exposed and vulnerable. What happens when she runs into a cleverly concealed executioner? 
Next, the spiked slayer faces the camouflaged assassin. Then, war in a watery grave. And later, close quarters, mortal combat. In the undergrowth, a spiny spider searches for a suitable spot to build a new web. Unaware that a crab spider is waiting on a chance to strike. The spiny spider has large chelicerae and long fangs that crush. The crab spider has powerful front legs for grabbing prey and fangs for dispensing lethal venom. Which spider will reign supreme? Separated from her silk fortress, practically blind, the spiny spider is at her weakest. She's not picking up all the vibrations from her web that give her an enormous amount of information. But the crab spider is perfectly positioned. Camouflaged against the branch, waiting for a victim to walk into her trap. That's the power of sitting still in the bug world. While the other animals aren't noticing you, you're conserving your strength in order to be able to kill them. The spiny spider walks straight into an ambush. This crab spider is the master of the ultimate fighting leg lock, and the spiny spider certainly has plenty for her to grab onto. The crab spider's muscular forelegs wrap around those huge rear spikes. The spiny spider struggles to break free as her enemy probes for a kill shot. Her exoskeleton is really very hard and hard to break through. She isn't easy to bite in the right place. Finally, the tiny daggers puncture the outer shell. Venom starts to flow. At the other end, the spiny spider's own fangs, normally such vicious and effective weapons, stab blindly. The crab spider's venom normally takes prey down reasonably quickly, but the spiny spider is certainly hanging on much longer than usual. The crab spider, however, is more than strong enough to keep a hold until it pumps enough venom in to kill the spiny spider. If she'd been in her web, she could have taken down that crab spider, but outside of her web, she was really in a bad situation. Even before the spiny spider succumbs, her attacker starts to feast. Slowly, methodically, the spiny spider has the life sucked out of her. 